What I remember about Kirby is he was the smartest guy in the room. Like, he stole a lot of interceptions from me. Like, why? Because if I was there to make a play, I never saw him. He could see everything. He'd just jump right in front of us and catch the ball. In 2000, Kirby began at Valdosta State, then a brief stint with Bobby Bowden at FSU before joining Nick Saban's staff at LSU in 2004. When I met Kirby, you know, he was really young, only had a couple years of experience. Whatever his role was, you know, he had a lot of pride in performance and he's a great competitor. While with Saban at Alabama, he began to develop the defensive system that would propel him to success as Georgia's head coach. I don't think words can express how honored and privileged I am to stand before you as the head coach of the University of Georgia. Kirby's homecoming gave him the freedom to lead a defensive revolution at a time when offenses were evolving faster than many could keep up. Using spread formations and run pass options, Offenses were dictating favorable matchups. Kirby knew to keep up, defenses had to evolve. Figure out what you did wrong, get better at it. Let's go. If you're bringing that and they don't like where that defender is, they can throw the slants out right. here. I think the biggest thing is trying to make sure the quarterback doesn't get an easy read. We looked at ourselves and said, we're slipping. And we still got good players. The game has changed. You see the formation variation is just completely different. Here's the problem with our defense. How many people we got out here? Three. Three. How many we got? Two. So we didn't have the ability to play three down against spread teams. We've had to change some things as offenses have changed. You adapt. His solution was a reimagined defensive front with fewer down linemen and more speed. Up on that line of scrimmage, here they come. Pressure from the edge. He'll go down again. So our solution became what we call mint front. Mint, 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 mint. Mint for mod, mint for mod. Flip, 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 flip. The nose got to win. It's a single. The ball's not going to be running the A if you got a winning nose. Which side of the tackle are you supposed to be on? What side of the tackle are you supposed to be on? Which side? What? Inside. Inside gap, coach. B. The ball's not going to be running the Bs if you got a good four I. And now you're playing odd defense. You're playing odd defense against true spread team. And the beauty of mint, of odd defense, we got more people standing up that can fire from different places. Oh, ball, ball, ball. Oh, good job, good job. In 2021, Kirby Smart's mint defense dominated, helping lead the Bulldogs to their first national championship in 41 years. Demons be gone, and the drought is over. After dominating on the field, the Bulldogs' defense dominated on draft day. With the first pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Trayvon Walker, Jordan Davis, Quay Walker, Devontae Wyatt, Lewis Seen. We knew Georgia had a great defense. That is the first school in NFL draft history to have five defensive players selected in the first round. Heading into this season, a major question loomed. Could any team, even a Kirby Smart team playing the mint defense, bounce back from losing that much talent? How you been? Been grinding, trying to get these guys ready. Different group than last year, you know? I look at it as an opportunity, and that's the outlook we've always had here. Is that we think we've got as good or better players than anybody in the country, and we control how we play. Ball, 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 get it out. Ah, you got to compete to finish. I can't put you in the game if you don't cover anybody. There he goes right there for a touchdown. That's it, guys, right there. I can't stand it when you say it ain't my fault. It's not my fault. Not my fault, coach. I jumped outside. Not my fault. Everybody blame somebody right now. It's not my fault. Do your job. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself. Sometimes you see things you like. Sometimes you see things you don't like. And we had to look at it and see it. I got a purpose to what I do. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? First time we do it, we do it here. The next time we do it, we do it here. The next time we do it, we do it here. Don't ever, ever tell your coach, I didn't know, it wasn't my fault. 
Don't, don't be a blame guy, okay? That's the first sign of loser mentality when you blame someone else for a mistake. Everybody understand me? Y'all good? You want to beat the best, right? And you want to be the best. And uh, we think that we are the best.